Hi, and thank you for visiting my channel. For more information, kindly subscribe and follow. Now let's get started. In the past 24 hours, Buddy Matthews has been a much talked about name. This was because of what transpired at SummerSlam Saturday night as his real-life wife Rhea Ripley suffered a betrayal at the hands of Dominic Mysterio. But it seems like Matthews won't be there to help his wife in WWE anytime soon. Ripley challenged Liv Morgan for the Women's World Championship. However, it seemed that Dominic Mysterio had inadvertently assisted Morgan once more, just as he did during her match with Becky Lynch back in May. But in the end, he was just playing dumb, and he intentionally cost Rhea the chance to recapture her title. Following what went down, Buddy Matthews hilariously posted a tweet asking TK if he could quickly make a trip to help his wife. However, realistically speaking, this won't happen anytime soon. Matthews had just reportedly recently re-signed with AEW on a multi-year deal. The only possible way this will happen in the next few years is whether WWE and AEW open the forbidden door between them, which at this point is close to impossible. Buddy Matthews recently returned to AEW additional confirmation that Buddy Matthews isn't going anywhere was his return to AEW last night on Collision. Three weeks ago, he seemingly suffered a Kfabi injury, and to add insult to injury, he was attacked backstage by the patriarchy. He was written off TV for personal reasons, which ended up being him getting married to his now wife, Rhea Ripley. Last night, he returned to stand side by side with the rest of the House of Black as they were staking their claim to the AEW World Trio's titles. They had earned a title match a few weeks ago, and being three members again, they were now eligible for that match. The Bang Bang Gang also called for their rematch, so it seems that Christian Cage will have his hands full as he has two other trios looking to dethrone them. Buddy Matthews, once a promising star within WWE, had forged a new path in the wrestling world after his departure. Now thriving in AEW, he had found a new home and a fresh start. However, recent events in WWE had fans speculating about a possible return. Dominic Mysterio's shocking betrayal of Rhea Ripley had left her vulnerable and alone, prompting rumors of Buddy Matthews making a comeback to aid his former partner. Yet, despite the clamor, Matthews remained steadfast in his decision to stay away from WWE. Matthews sat in his modestly decorated living room, surrounded by mementos of his wrestling career. The phone buzzed incessantly with messages and notifications from fans and fellow wrestlers alike, all asking the same question, would he return to WWE to help Rhea Ripley? He sighed, running a hand through his hair, and picked up the phone to call his longtime friend and confidant, Alistair Black. Hey, Alistair. You've seen the news, right? Matthews asked, his voice heavy with uncertainty. Yeah, buddy, I have. It's been all over the wrestling community. People are losing their minds, Black replied, his tone calm and composed. I just don't know, man. I feel like I've moved on, you know? AEW has given me so much creative freedom, and I'm really happy here. But Rhea, she was there for me during some tough times. I can't just ignore that. Alistair Black listened intently, understanding the internal conflict his friend was grappling with. I get it, buddy. Loyalty and friendship are important. But you have to think about your own happiness and career. Going back to WWE might not be the best move for you right now. As Matthews pondered Black's words, memories of his time in WWE flooded his mind. He recalled the grueling schedule, the creative frustrations, and the constant pressure to fit into a mold that never quite suited him. AEW had offered him a fresh start, a chance to reinvent himself, and he had embraced it wholeheartedly. The thought of returning to WWE, even for Rhea Ripley, filled him with a sense of dread. The days turned into weeks, and the speculation continued to grow. Fans created countless social media posts, fantasy booking scenarios where Matthews would heroically return to save Ripley from Dominic's treachery. Despite the mounting pressure, Matthews remained resolute in his decision. 
He knew that returning to WWE might offer a short-term boost in popularity, but it could also undo all the progress he had made in AEW. Meanwhile, Rhea Ripley struggled to come to terms with Dominic's betrayal. She had trusted him implicitly, and his actions had left her heartbroken and vulnerable. The locker room was abuzz with rumors about Buddy Matthews' possible return, but Ripley knew better than to count on anyone but herself. She had always been a fierce competitor, and this setback would only fuel her determination to rise above the challenges. One evening, as Ripley trained alone in the dimly lit gym, she received a message from an unknown number. She opened it cautiously, her heart skipping a beat when she saw it was from Buddy Matthews. Hey, Rhea. I've been hearing about everything that's happened. I just wanted to reach out and see how you're holding up, the message read. Ripley smiled faintly, touched by his concern. She quickly typed a response, grateful for the distraction from her thoughts. Thanks, buddy. It's been tough, but I'm managing. Everyone keeps talking about you coming back to WWE. What do you think about all that? A few moments passed before Matthews replied. I've been thinking about it a lot. I care about you, Rhea, and I hate seeing you go through this. But I have to be honest with you, I'm really happy where I am right now. AEW has given me so much, and I don't think I can give that up. Ripley understood his perspective. She admired his commitment to his new path and respected his decision. I get it, buddy. You have to do what's best for you. Thanks for reaching out. It means a lot. Their conversation continued late into the night, reminiscing about their shared experiences and offering each other words of encouragement. Ripley found solace in their connection, knowing that she had a true friend in Matthews, even if he couldn't be there physically. As the weeks went by, Ripley channeled her anger and pain into her training, determined to overcome Dominic's betrayal and prove herself once more. She emerged stronger, fiercer, and more focused than ever before. The WWE Universe watched in awe as Ripley took on every challenge with unwavering resolve, her eyes set firmly on reclaiming her place at the top. Buddy Matthews, on the other hand, continued to thrive in AEW. He formed alliances, engaged in thrilling matches, and solidified his reputation as one of the most talented performers in the industry. The decision to stay with AEW had been the right one, allowing him to grow both personally and professionally. In the end, Matthews and Ripley remained connected through their shared history and mutual respect. Their paths might have diverged, but the bond they had forged would endure. Matthews knew that returning to WWE wasn't the answer, not for him, and not for Ripley. Instead, they both found strength in their respective journeys, knowing that true loyalty and friendship transcended the confines of any wrestling promotion. And so, as the wrestling world continued to evolve, Buddy Matthews and Rhea Ripley each carved out their own legacies, united by their past and empowered by their choices.